Johnny here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about number one install if you own a convertible, whether it's a Mustang or any other convertible model. Something to cut the wind is going to be of huge benefit to you and whoever's riding with you. So really there's two models that exist on the market. Right here we have the plexiglass model. So it's not fragile. If you're shopping them on the internet or at your local dealership, uh, you don't have to worry. They look like they're made of glass, uh, but they're not fragile. However, there is a large downside. The big downside to this model is that it scratches quite easy because it's plastic. It's a clear plastic. And if you're not unbelievably careful with it, it's gonna scratch. So a little tip, if you do get this model, something that can be interesting is to tint it if you are gonna tint the windows on your vehicle. Once you've tinted it, it's not gonna show those scratches anymore. Now, there's another model on the market as well. And the other mar model on the market is if you get a mesh screen. Now you'd think a mesh or a fabric screen with its little holes would be much Le uh, mu uh, much less good at cutting out the wind, but in fact, uh, I've had both models and it's basically the same. Whether you have the hard plexiglass made of plastic or a little mesh behind your seats, uh, both are going to cut the wind about the same. There's maybe a slight difference with the plexiglass, uh, but in my case, uh, my girlfriend and I haven't even noticed the difference. When you're on the highway, what is incredible is you won't have the wind in the vehicle anymore. You're not gonna have, if you have long hair, you're not gonna have the long hair blowing about everywhere. Uh, so it's a great addition to the vehicle. I'd say it's a must have for any convertible. Now for the Mustang, it's gonna create a little inconvenience for getting in and out once it is installed. Uh, but both models are very easy to install. If you look right here, this model here, all it is is a bolt. So for that bolt or screw, for the bolt, you're going to need an Allen key and you're going to need something to hold on to that. So either pliers or a socket. So both a socket or pliers will hold on to this end while you screw into this end. So it couldn't be easier really to install. However, if you do get the mesh, it actually is easier to install because it's actually just clips. You'll have four clips. Uh, they're little plastic clips that just snap together. So if you're looking for the absolute easiest option, go with the mesh. You can snap it in and out so you can remove it from the vehicle or put it in the vehicle in a matter of seconds. Whereas this is actually going to take about three, two to three minutes. So, you know, with two or three minutes, if you're often having people sit in the back seat, uh, it's not, it's a little longer to take out uh, than the mesh grill. Uh, the mesh, I should say, a windbreaker or wind wind shield. Uh, so now I'm just going to show you how easy it is to install it in just a moment. Back, uh, needed a little help to install the plexiglass. So when you go with the plexiglass model, a uh, small disadvantage when you're installing it or removing it, ideally you're going to need two people. The reason for that is you have metal brackets uh, that need to you need to apply pressure to put them into place. Uh, and if you don't want to be scratching the, the leather or damaging the leather uh, with those metal brackets, you're going to need a second person. Now, of course, if you're shopping for the mesh grill, huge advantage is you're going to do that install and take out on your own. It's going to take 30 seconds because it's four little plastic clips that snap together and it's incredibly light. Uh, this, we did need two people. Uh, whether you go with the mesh or the plexiglass, huge advantage is, let's say it's, you know, 10 degrees or 60 degrees out, whether you're you're using Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, you can go for cold weather drives top down. If it's sunny out like today and it's only, you know, 10, 12 degrees, you can crank up the heat in the vehicle and you're gonna be warm because this makes it so no wind comes into the vehicle. Uh, and that's true for the mesh grill, the mesh uh, windshield as well. The pla plexiglass, honestly, maybe a five max, 10% less wind that will get into the vehicle. This has pretty much no wind going into the vehicle, whereas the mesh will uh, maybe allow 20% uh, to go into the vehicle. So there's about a 10% difference. So both are a really great option. Of course, price is a factor when you're shopping. And uh, if you're on your own, uh, most of the time, 
Uh, this is great if you're just a couple, but if you do have kids or friends that are going to be sitting in the back of your convertible, uh, I do suggest the mesh because it's you know quick, fast, and easy to remove. Whereas this, you need two people to remove it ideally uh, if you are going to be careful for the leather. You know, if you're driving an older convertible and you don't care about the condition of the leather as much, uh, this could be done with one person, but it'll be a little difficult. So you know that really sums up the the video. Must have option. You have a convertible is the the windshield uh, it's gonna let you drive to conclude it's really gonna let you drive on colder days when the sun's out you want to get a little Sun uh, but you want to go out for your ride top down this is the number one uh, thing to get on your convertible so, so uh, here we are uh, just wanting to show you how easy it is to take the convertible top off of uh, the Mustang and to show you the, the, the quality of ride that this little accessory gives right here, the wind deflector. So we've got the plexiglass wind deflector. I've had the, the mesh one before. Uh, I find this does cut the wind just a little bit better. Uh, it does, however, get scratched quite easily because it's not made of glass, it's made of uh, plastic. So it scratches easy, easier and it's uh, harder to install, but the results are great. Turn the handle, press the button, there goes the top. Let's give this a little test. windows are down you're gonna have a look some a little more wind that comes in obviously uh, but it's really not that bad you know I'm doing 70 kilometers an hour, an hour as you can see barely any wind in the hair uh, enjoyable uh, feels a little bit colder uh, pretty simple or if you really want to cut the wind out so right now the windows are up and I can talk normally uh, there's pretty much no wind coming in the vehicle I love this uh, this is great uh, and it lets you enjoy the vehicle for so many more months out of the year so if you've got a bit of a colder season let's say it's it's uh, 10 degrees Celsius out uh, or give or take 65 Fahrenheit well you know great if you find it's cold anytime put your windows up crank the heat up and uh, you know you can feel like you're in a sauna because there's just pretty much no wind coming in here uh, just just great so you know I find it's a must-have getting a wind deflector no matter what convertible you have uh, in the Mustang when you do have people sitting in the back uh, if you choose to remove that deflector glass it is gonna take you know three to five minutes it's a little inconvenient the mesh grill uh, it's four clips in and out and throw it off to the side in the garage uh, or you can just choose to if you do push down if you bend these seats down driver and passenger at the exact same time give or take same time uh, you can squeeze people in the back uh, they're gonna have plexiglass in their, their near their face but they're also gonna have uh, also less wind uh, coming and bothering them during their ride Quite a few 
miles and probably burned through quite a few gallons. So the miles per gallon are high. Now I'm just going to enjoy the scenery. I hope you are as well. Wind deflector, must have if you have a convertible for spending money on anything else. If you really want to enjoy your your rides, not have the the wife complain about the wind blowing their hair everywhere, eyes, mouth. Uh, I'd say it's the first thing to get. After that, you can start focusing. You know, on my Mustang, I'm going to be focusing on uh, a few cosmetic upgrades, but uh, certainly a few performance upgrades especially when it comes to uh, playing around with the sound of the vehicle. Uh, I love a vehicle that sounds great. Uh, GT Mustang stock has an amazing sound, but I will be going with that H-pipe. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. It's, uh, that's great. Well, until next time, uh, looking forward to uh, showing you the next upgrade. Uh, we're going to be painting the calipers on the vehicle soon, a really minor uh, cosmetic upgrade and uh, it, it, it's easy and I've got a, a really basic easy way of doing it that you don't have to order uh, 50 or 60 dollar paint. I've got a way that you can do it for about 10 or 12 dollars, so cheap, 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 basic. And at last, uh, I got this from, I've looked on a few, uh, a few uh, blogs, a few discussion zones on the internet, and people uh, have used regular uh, trim clad or Rust-Oleum paint for metal. Uh, and I actually have my brother that's done it three years ago on his Lincoln Navigator. And uh, the paint has stuck, so the test of time is done. So stay tuned, I'll be showing you the, the very important prep work to uh, painting your brake calipers because whether your paint's gonna stick or not is gonna come down to your prep work. Whether it looks good or not is also gonna come down to your prep, prep work. Uh, so we'll be covering that, so stay tuned and uh, I'll be seeing you again soon.